Okay, so in this video we're going to talk very much about how you go from somebody who can't strike the golf ball very well to somebody that will strike the golf ball very well and this I transparently will work it works all the time and it's such a simple idea and I'm going to explain exactly why it works now just an example of somebody that's been visiting for golf lessons had a real difficulty with ball striking but also just controlling things like contact and starting direction of the ball and what he was doing which is very common of a lot of people that I get the opportunity to work with, is he had a tendency in the backswing to move too much over towards his trail side. So as a right-handed golfer, he would move a bit too much this way. And then as he would come into the downswing, he would not really rotate. He'd get it further stuck behind the ball, and then he'd kind of be forced to hit it with a sort of, you know, slappy sort of action, which meant that the club would often strike the ground before the ball. Now, this meant that we had to make quite a few changes, right? There was quite a few things that we were gonna to have to do to end up making some alterations to his swing. But actually what we did is just did two things. Now, for those of you that have a tendency in the backswing position to move off the ball, one of the simple exercises you can do, and this is what I did with a student, is you can do some swings just single-handedly. So if I use my swing buddy here, all I got my student to do was just practice keeping his head still and just lift his trail arm up in the air. So I asked him to just lift his right upper arm in the air and then swing through. The reason why this is important is because most people will end up moving something like this. And then all I'll do is I'll get them to get the left hand to reach up towards the right hand and this produces a real centralized backswing. It's really rare that somebody would move like this when they're trying to whip a rope because they just know they're not going to be able to release it correctly. So the first thing is you want to be making sure that your backswing, and it will surprise many of you as it does with many of my online students, that you'll feel like your head stays still and you're lifting your arms more up. The second one is to practice moving your low point. Okay, so what you want to do in the golf swing is you want to be able to get your club head to strike the ground further forward than you currently realise. And what I mean by that is most golfers end up striking the ground to the right of the center of the stance. And what I like my students to do is have the ability to strike the ground further forward. Now, the reason for this is to be able to hit the ground further forward, so further towards my left, is gonna require two skills. The first one is you're gonna to have to stay still in the back, so you're gonna lift your arms up more. The second one is you're gonna to have to turn your chest. Because as you turn your chest, this means that your chest is lower to the ground, you've got more rotation, so your arms can stay lower to the floor like so. So by making a few swings like this, striking the ground further forward will give you that ability to naturally trigger better chest rotation. And that's exactly what I started to see with the student in mind. Now, all you've got to do is once you get used to the feeling of lifting your arms up and then hitting the ground further left, all you've got to do then is just keep an eye on what's happening with the ball flow and just make sure that you're not coming down too steep so you're not kind of swinging up and just doing something like so and the easiest way to rectify that is just to get that feeling of keeping that palm pointing a little bit more up towards the sky in the downswing or keep your forearm more up towards the sky in your downswing and if you can practice going through the routine like so so make some swings strike the ground opposite your left ankle like so and then just practice getting that same feeling but keep your forearm up to the sky then all of a sudden you're going to end up being able to very very quickly emulate a golf swing where you're able to move the ball further forward but you're going to be able to start hitting through the ball and once you can start to do this you're going to start to get those feels that all those greats have talked about where you get that shoulder down you're getting your chest rotating through the ball and you're getting the fear the feeling of being able to really fire that right arm through so keep your head still turn your chest keep that right arm pointing up and practice that line drum i'll see you soon